everywhere, everyone. Today, uh, my name is Anne Marat, and today I have an incredible woman doing a short little interview with me to share some things with you. Um, and she, um, her name is Asha. It's Asha. Is that correct, Asha? That's how you say it. Sometimes I call you Asha. You can say it the way you'd like, but Asha, Asha, it's okay. <laughs> it's, as long as you've got the first syllable right. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful name. And um, Asha uh, is a clinical psychologist and one of the eight international speakers that will be on the Women Day, Women's Day Summit on Sunday. And we're running out of days. So if you haven't got your tickets, get it now. Register on www.thewomensdaysummit.com. And um, especially since... Um, the gifts that these speakers are giving are is just absolutely incredible and don't miss out. So today, Asha, I would, I'd like to um, ask you to share uh, more about yourself so people can get to know who you are and also to, um, so we'll, we're just going to have a conversation. All right. So we'll just chat about um, who you are and also why you are excited about doing, being a speaker at the Women's Day Summit. Okay, thank you, Anne, and thank you so much for the invite. Um, so who am I? Whew, what, a, what a big question, and you know, so many of us, um, we, we inclined to start off and answering that with what we do, um, but it's, there's so much more to that question, but I'll start off by just sharing what I do. So I am, by profession, I'm an integrative clinical psychologist, um, and I run a multidisciplinary practice called Therapy Smart, based in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, but I'm all about um, authentic, honest conversations. And I do that through workshops and training groups, as well as talks that I do. So that is actually where I'm at in my business at, right at the moment. I do offer online um, consultations, but more so I'm doing more online group work, online trainings, and online talks, which I completely passionate about and I do it under the the name of in awe and wonder because I'm very big about the concept of awe and what is awe it's that moment where it's timeless we are just um, it brings back that pure sense of freedom that innocence uh, it brings back the present moment and we are needing more moments of awe in our life and how do we as women embrace those moments of awe how do we um, you know, embrace wonder by asking more questions? Because when we are asking more questions, we are then discovering more who we are. Um, yeah, it's so, so this, I mean, it is a big question. You're hundred percent right, who am I? And you know, as I've said on previous interviews, it is sort of the right timing for this type of thing. And I know that with communication with a lot of women that are all very excited about getting onto the summit, um, they've, you know, they, they will, uh, they, they've told me that they are struggling right now with a few things and they just want that like motivation really at the end of the day, the motivation of seeing successful people and, and especially people that haven't, haven't just become successful overnight, have worked on it and have moved towards the success um, that they have today. And that all of you ladies are willing to share it with the women out there in the world um, is an amazing thing. It's, it's great. It gives a good opportunity. So we don't feel alone. We don't feel like, um, you know, we're the only one with that problem because sometimes you, I'm sure you know um, this, this is, actually what happens with women we do feel like we're the only one not so absolutely i think that uh, now it is it's the need of the hour for us to feel as one as women because we all have shared experiences and there's such power in sharing our stories and hearing other people's stories because there's you know trauma happens in relationships but so too does healing um and and Healing happens in relationships where, where there are stories that are being shared. Mm. Because when we share stories, we are raising um, compassion and empathy uh, within each other. And this is what is very much needed amongst women today. Yeah. Just that, that rising level of empathy for each other, because empathy means need to. So it will be incredible as we listen to 
all the women share on the summit how so many women would be saying that's me i can relate to that me too because yes. there are so many shared collective experiences and in hearing other people's stories just the deep listening yeah. is healing in itself um, it, um deep deep listening actually um helps it, when i say healing it, it, it uh, eliminates the suffering in another that is why therapy is so effective when someone comes to listen comes to therapy i offer them deep deep attention which is deep deep listening and that alone is healing it's the start of the healing process right yes thank you for sharing that that is so true um and um so what is it that you are going to um i mean look the title is who am i and that's sort of like uh, it can be taken as like you know uh, very broad or or very personal um what what are you going to discuss under that title <clears throat> what well, what i would love to do is to share with the group what my collective experience has been in having many, many conversations with women in the work that I've done and also being a woman myself. So looking at the individual experience of being a woman together as with the whole collective, because I've had many, many deep conversations with phenomenal women, um, either via my work, uh, doing therapy, or also the wonderful women that are in my family and of course my friends. And just to share that collective narrative of what a woman go through and how do we get to this point of asking this question, who am I and how do we get to that answer and do we ever get to that answer or is it a continuous um, process in life that we are, do we really find the answer? That's what I would also like to look at in, our, in the summit. Yeah, that is a big question. I mean, do we ever get to the answer as who I am? And, and the amazing thing about um, what this summit has brought on is um, not only the excitement from women, but also the creativity in women. Because uh, re, uh, I think a, a couple of days ago this week, I posted a, um, a, a little thing that my sister did never thought that she would do this but she just sat down and she thought about it she thought because it is something you have to think about like who am i you know and she thought about it and and she said i have to share this with you um here's what i think you know this is who i am and um it, it it's it was you know very um it wasn't in depth as such but you could definitely see from her writing that she really thought about it and it is something that um it's like asking the question what do i want you know what do i want it's very difficult to answer that yeah so yeah so i'm i'm also i'm looking forward to what the other speakers are going to bring to the table and i know that of course with the with the um the businesses and the work that they do that it's all geared to work to um uh, working with women and also helping helping women so that's just fantastic um so uh everyone's giving a little gift away and i just wanted you to share what you're giving okay so um all right, so I'm very excited to be giving away um, an integrative holistic consultation, mind, body, spirit consultation uh, with myself uh, together with an integrative medical doctor who will be doing um, an in-depth consult, uh, looking at lifestyle, looking at uh, one's emotions, looking at one's thought processes. So it's mind, body and spirit. Um, a really lovely in-depth session um, of a deep conversation and hopefully healing as well and it will leave you with some um, very very important um, uh, clues to what you could um, uh, implement in your life that's amazing gift that is really an amazing gift i mean wow um I, I mean even myself i would love to have one of those sessions but um i think for um are you you giving it away to one lucky lady that's out there that will be attending that that is a very valuable gift and let me just encourage you 
uh, I mean, the entry fee is 250 Rand and really this type, this gift, you can't even compare it. It's like chalk and cheese. If you miss out, it'd be very, very sad. That gift alone will be um, so valuable to you. And thank you so much, Asha, for, um, for, for offering that gift to one lucky lady that will be present at the summit. Um, so yes, thank you also for coming on today with me and having a short chat. I know you are very, very much in demand lately and very busy. And so I'm very grateful. Um, do you want to leave us with any message, um, or is that it from you? Yeah, I'm just really looking forward to the summit and yeah, just, um, all this phenomenal woman that will be speaking and so intrigued to listen to these stories and to share my part in the summit and hoping that I, I could make a difference in in, 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 in women's lives. Um, I think that now is the time that we need to build communities of really strong, powerful women. And it's let's do this together. Let's grow and learn together. So I'm really excited. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming on. So the Women's Day Summer, two days away. It's on Sunday at 11 o'clock in the morning uh, for South Africans. And uh, there will be a replay. So if you've paid and you can't make it, you'll still get the replay. Um, get your, your tickets today. Uh, and um, I will see you all on the summit. Thank you again, Asha, for joining me. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye.